I, I feel like I can handle a lot, but when they showed me the picture of what they took out of my neck this past Friday, it was it was shocking. It was it was like a, a freaking alien. And look, I know as curious as I was to see it, I know there's a lot of people out there curious to see it. So. I just want to take a moment to tell you the story today of my thyroid removal, how I got here, and uh, show you the stuff that you want to see, the scar, the the thyroid. Um, Yeah, here we go. So this story begins in late 2021, early 2022, when I started getting comments on my cruising videos on the Lalita Loca cruise channel on YouTube, started getting comments that there was something up with my neck. My neck looks swollen, and there's a lot of people that watch those videos, including healthcare professionals. And so a couple people spoke out and said, that's probably something you should get checked out. So at about mid-2022 at my primary care physician, I brought it up during one of my appointments, Honestly, to be fair, I think it's the lovely Jenny B who brought it up. She did a, just a cursory feeling of my neck, and she's like, yeah, something's not quite right in there. Sent me off for imaging, and so I had my thyroid ultrasound about mid-2022, and uh, it was abnormal. There were nodules. It was enlarged, and following up to that imaging, there was a call for a biopsy, and so in August of 2022, my thyroid was biopsied for cancer. And fortunately, while they found a lot of nodules and all of those nodules were biopsied, uh, they all came back benign, no cancer. So in the follow-up visit to my primary care physician, we had a couple options. Now, to be fair, the person that did my biopsy, the surgeon that was in there doing the biopsy, even during the biopsy, he was like, you need to get your thyroid removed. But when we went to primary care physician, she said, yeah, removal of thyroid is one option, but just watching it grow for a year is another option. And being a busy guy, a not want to do surgery guy, I was leaning toward the let's wait it out a year. And of course, the lovely Jenny B in her wisdom was saying, maybe we should get it removed. You know, hindsight being 2020, that was probably the correct call. But we decided to let it wait one more year. Now, if we fast forward to the middle of 2023, back at the primary care physician doing our annual checkups, and we mentioned to her, hey, should we get this thyroid? Should we get it imaged again? She said, yes, we go for imaging. And well, those images of my thyroid were startling. It's it's interesting. I've had my thyroid imaged three or four times, and I always try to pay attention to the person that's either doing the ultrasound or the imaging because you can see it on their face. You can see it on their face that the thyroid was kind of gnarly. And the one in mid-2023, she really did look shocked. It had grown a lot. It had grown a lot in the past year. We returned to primary care. And uh, the decision was made, let's escalate it to a specialist and get this thyroid removed. Our first referral was to an ear, nose, and throat doctor. When we visited her... She looked me very plainly in the face and she said, man, your thyroid is really enlarged. It's a mess. It needs to come out, but I I can't do it. It's too much for me. We're going to have to refer you even further down the line. So eventually we were referred to a surgical team in Tampa and I met a doctor there, the surgeon that took my thyroid out that was super confident saying, yeah, that's a big thyroid, but me and my team can take it out. Let's get it on the books. So at this point, I'm just four days post-surgery, and I think that's a testament to how awesome everybody involved has been in this process, from the surgical team at Tampa General to the care professionals, post-op, the whole nine yards. Really a great experience, and one I would not have expected going through surgery as good as I feel right now. Um... You know, basically, we went over there on Friday, the 23rd. I was fortunate that I was scheduled first. I got there at 6 a.m. in the morning. And if you've ever been through surgery where they put you under, you know that there's going to come a moment where you close your eyes and then you open your eyes and it's all over. So I went with a pretty positive attitude on Friday morning, had just spent the previous day celebrating my 21st anniversary with the lovely Jenny B, had really great conversations with all of my kids and all of my close family members. And so when I got up on Friday the 23rd, I felt I felt at peace and I was just excited to go get this thing done. Went there 6 a.m., got prepped for surgery, 
And then it did come to that moment where they're like, okay, we're getting ready to give you the happy juice and we'll see you in a minute. And boom, it was over. And again, the care was amazing. Uh, you know, had to stay in post-op for five or six hours while they tried to get me a bed. And the fact that they even were looking for a bed is a little bit of an indication how abnormal my thyroid removal was because normally that is a outpatient surgery. But again, this alien that was living in me so massive that it required four drains, uh, a huge incision, and uh, a hospital stay that ended up being Friday, Saturday, Sunday, finally coming home yesterday. So shall we get to the good stuff? Shall we get to the scar and the picture? Before I do that, let me just say this. Uh, I guess my big lesson learned here is don't put off you know, today what you can do. And I really, if I could rewind the clock and make the decision uh, over, I don't think I would have waited the year to get my thyroid removed. I would have rearranged all my schedules and I would have got the thyroid removed because it just grew massively in a year. We didn't anticipate that, but I think it made it a bigger challenge than what it needed to be. And my road to recovery may be a little more challenging than what it needs to be. But um, that, that that's my big lesson learned. But okay, we're going to look at the scar. We're going to look at the thyroid picture. It's kind of gnarly. So if that kind of thing grosses you out, time to click off or to turn away. We'll do it in one, two, three. All right, here's the scar. It's about an eight inch necktie there. Uh, it's kind of glued there in a pattern that's supposed to make that scar disappear. There's still some holes there, and then I still have one tube connected. That's the drain. I had four of those. That's coming out on the 29th. But uh, overall, some of the swelling's gone down. But man, if you can, you can already tell where my neck has changed because of this thing being removed. Now, let me show you the picture. First, let me show you the reference picture. This picture was taken a week ago, Saturday, in Nassau. And notice, notice on the right side of my face just how massive my neck is. And I thought it was just because I was fat. It's, uh, it was more than that. It was more than that. Uh, so here's the reference for a thyroid, normal thyroid, uh, you know, three to four centimeters in you know, length, uh, one to two centimeters in width. And here's the left side of my thyroid. This is my left thyroid that was big enough that they thought that that should be removed. You'll notice that's uh, two or three centimeters in width, uh, four or five centimeters in length. And then uh, here you go. This, this is the right side of my thyroid. And this is the, an alien. This is shocking. All in all, and what was wild, at my first scan, my whole total th thyroid was only five centimeters wide. And uh, now it's, it's what, what is this, 10 centimeters, 13 centimeters? Um, shocking. There you go. That is my thyroid removal journey. Again, I, I don't know that I made all the best choices, but hopefully the choices that I made might help you with choices that you have to make. If you like keeping up with the adventures, just please consider subscribing. My name's Tony Barnett, and uh, I talk about health and weight loss here on this channel, but there's no telling what else I'll be talking about. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up, and, well, we'll, we'll see you on the next video.